Hi, this is Captain Al Lorenzetti of SkimmerOutdoors.com bringing you some real maintenance tips. Real maintenance is very important. You have to keep the reels functioning properly, otherwise you're going to lose the big fish. So, in the off season, like here in the Northeast, when I'm not fishing, I take some time to do a little bit better than basic maintenance on my reels. And uh, when it comes to reels, if you have any kind of problem with it, or anything that involves going into the main mechanism of the reel, which is basically the right side, I would recommend you either send it away for service or bring it to a tackle shop that does reel repair. However, if the reel seems to be functioning pretty well, then maybe it's just some basic maintenance that you'll have to perform that'll keep it working that way. When I'm ready to work, I put out a nice clean towel, preferably white, because if any parts fall, you can pick them up quite easily. And then, you can see I have one disassembled. On the Dakota and most reels, most conventional reels, the left side plate's only held on with three or four screws. And when you remove that left side plate, you have access to the clicker mechanism, the idler gear, uh, there's actually a bearing in here that you can inspect. The spool can be removed, and you can look at the other side of the reel, into the reel guts of the reel, and see if you have any kind of salt buildup or anything like that. Some reels allow you greater access at this point. Uh, the Dakota doesn't, but uh, you know you can look in there and see if you have a real dirt problem. Maybe it should be then cleaned professionally. However, if everything looks okay, you have access to a bearing, a little drop of oil can be placed on that to make sure it's, it stays free, it doesn't build up any salt or get rusted. And then the spool can be replaced. Uh, as I said, you might put a couple of drops of oil on these gears, on the bearing, on the clicker mechanism and spring, and then simply replace it and you'll feel it snap into position. Replace the screws, put the reel back together, so when you're back together, then give it a good shot, external cleaning of some WD-40, and uh, wipe it down with another nice towel. Clean it all up, and I also recommend very strongly taking a drop of oil and putting it in the handle at the point where it pivots. And to keep that nice and loose, you can oil that, make sure it's working well, and you're ready to go. Basic real maintenance.